We've seen the world's fastest scooter and the world's fastest bike, but today we got the world's fastest scooter bike. This thing is faster than the Suron for half the price. Mount design. Look, I couldn't get it on right, and then same on this side. This is the Roadrunner Pro from Vora Motors. It's $2,495. They claim 50 miles per hour on the website. It's got two motors, one in each wheel front suspension, rear suspension, headlight, tail light with turn signals, no pedals, just these folding pegs. It's got a cable throttle, which is the first I've ever seen on an e-bike since the OG Suron. And it feels pretty sluggish compared to an e-throttle, but there's also some rattle here. I'm afraid I'll hear that when I'm riding, but this is a pretty good deal for something that goes 50 miles an hour with no pedals. It's got these high, wide bars. It's probably going to be comfortable to sit on. I just rolled it here, so let's take it on its first rip. Oh, that rear suspension's pretty cushy. All right, we got our speed here, temperatures, average mile per hour, max speed, odometer, a lot of information on here. There's five power modes. I'll start in three. Well, the front wheel's skidding out. Here we go. Into the street. Dual motor. I can feel that front wheel just wants to skid. I should lean forward. Super comfortable. I really like the seating position on this. It's about, I mean, this isn't any bigger than a Razor. I'll put them next to each other, but it's not that much bigger than a Razor, but big seat, high handlebars, really good seating position. Super cushy on the rear. I hope you see that. The front's not too bad either. I'm gonna put my lights on. We'll do full throttle at this light. I'm going into the highest power mode. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, that front wheel skids out. <laughs> Here we go. Easing into it. Not even half throttle right now. Half throttle. Here we go. Full throttle. We're moving. 45, 46, 47. Let's see if we can hit 50. 48. 49. 50. Let's go. 51. Ah! Whoa, that's impressive. Not many bikes go 50 out of the box, especially little ones like this. I don't know how I feel about that front wheel skidding out though. Needs to be some more weight in the front. I'm gonna turn it down. This might be one of the most comfortable sitting PEVs I've ever tested. I really like how it sits. Nice high bars. Here we go, let's test it out. I'm in mode three, I turned it down. The only thing I've ridden similar to this was actually the first PEV I, I ever got. It was a Walmart, oh, Walmart seated electric scooter. And I think at the time it was less than $400. It was like 300 something. They might not even sell it anymore. That would have been four years ago. If they do have something similar, I'll, I'll put it up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's not a Suron. I would go over that on a Suron, but. And that seated electric scooter put me on to electric. That is when I just totally got addicted. It was a wimpy little, I mean, it doesn't get any, you know, cheaper and slower than that seated scooter, but it was the, I thought you could have asked me, I would have felt like I was on a Ducati or something because it was the first thing I'd ever ridden that wasn't a pedal bike. Okay, I'm in the highest power mode again. This thing fucking pulls. I'm just barely touching the throttle. And I went everywhere on that seated scooter. I went grocery shopping on it. I would take way more than I could hold and I would put it in a, in a bag that I would hang around my neck and I would ride pretty far on this tiny scooter on the side streets. And that's when, you know, I was like, fuck, I wish I could wheelie it. And I wish I had more power. And that's when I was like, okay, the Suron is the move. Wow. This is pretty similar to what I was riding. 
and I love it. I think as far as because here's the thing not all not all pev you know electric bikes scooters boards are made for the same thing in fact every single one is like very different in terms of the intended use and for something like this like a mini oh my, you hear that front wheel skidding it's so scary a mini seated scooter like this is really good for street riding because it's super under the radar i mean this is obvious it's under the radar you can still go pretty fast, but nobody looks at you twice. Here we go over some water. It does have splash guards. So I hope my butt isn't wet. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sorry. Whoa, you hear that front wheel? It's sketchy. I love these scooters. This might be my new... That's so funny, I was just going to say Roadrunner. That's actually the name of it. This is going to be the thing I ride in the street when I'm not wheeling. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the use of each bike. This is great for the scooter, uh, for the street, but if you're going to, if you want to be wheeling and stuff, obviously a Suron's the move. A lot going on here. So when I need to go to the post office or the pharmacy or the hardware store. I'll take this bad boy in the street. I wouldn't even, I'm trying to think right now what I would upgrade. Maybe the brakes. I, this thing's powerful. It does not need any more power. So it would just be little things. Maybe like the seat cover. The seat cover is a little loose. Maybe the suspension. Yeah, probably the suspension. This thing's and here we go, full throttle. It really just depends what kind of range you get because every, it passes the test on everything else. The seating position is my favorite thing. I really like how comfortable this is. This is fun. We've gone two and a half miles and we still got plenty on the battery. This is what I was saying about the seat cover. It's just a little loose. This is dope though. I've seen people upgrade these. People will still put larger hub motors and make it go faster. There's some bikes where I'm just like, you know, that, that's enough. For example, the Stark Vark. I think that has plenty of power. This might be on that list. I can't really see myself doing much to this. I'm already scared going 50. Oh, 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 oh it wheelies. It wheelies. <laughs> Should I try? Oh, 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 oh. Little guy, watch where you're going. There's a lot of spare space right here. I would put it probably another battery. Maybe that would be the one thing I would do. You hear the front wheel? You hear the front wheel is skidding that whole time. Maybe I'll put some weights on the front too. That might be a good mod. But I don't know if you could tell like the seating position I'm in. It's like I'm on an ergonomic desk chair. It's like everything's the correct proportion. You know, if you were to ask me what bike should I buy, there's so many options. The Triple X is your best budget out of the box but you can still wheelie bike that's the triple x Talaria. best bike for upgrading saron best bike out of the box no upgrades eri pro ss now an official edition <laughs> best street worthy road runner no pun intended is this I would pick this over anything going street riding maybe if we put tiny little fake pedals they sell things something called peggles that are, are really just pegs but to get around the the pedal laws but if I was a cop the last person I'm worried about is someone riding one of these I mean you compare this to something like the Fido 
the Fido doesn't even get close to this speed. It has a similar appeal as far as it's, you know, the way it looks on the street and it's small size. But I, I would never ride the Fido, at least the one I tested, the Q1S. I would never ride that out of the box. I would have to upgrade it. This is just out of the box. This is so nice. Such a good, just cruise, cruiser. This must be the cheapest way to go 50 miles an hour. I can't think of a, a cheaper bike that goes this fast. Not to say $2,549 is cheap. It's not, it's not cheap. My first e-bike was under $400 and I thought that was outrageously expensive. So it's not cheap, but to go fast, that's about as, as low as you can go on the price. And it, it's, it's actually blowing my mind that these tiny little, tiny little hub motors can do that. Sure on. Yeah, what's up, bro? Look. Nice bike. Nice Just out for a little rip. Yeah. You, you need help bending those back? So I'll tell you, 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 you turn the bars all the way until the forks are touching the bike. Yeah, like that. Now keep pushing it and that'll straight. You see how you need to turn them like that to straighten it? So keep giving it some oomph. You got it. Is that better? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you got to get home safe. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I get a yeah, for sure. Pleasure to meet you. Shout out to Roadrunner for sending this out. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Yeah.